Hi Tuners! Welcome to Stage X Academy. In this series, we are teaching tuners how to do various tuning tasks with the support of Stage X. As more and more modern cars are being equipped with automatic gearboxes, today we want to state some important knowledge about transmissions torque limiters. It is so important because TCU sometimes disallow full torque and power gains when tuning the ECU of the car, making our goals unable to achieve. The best way to present this case is a dyno graph where the power increases but torque stays nearby stock. Let's look at our example for a 2 liters TDI engine, paired with a DSG gearbox where the tuner faced torque limitations. As we can see, values from the stock engine are around 145 bhp and 312 newton meters. After the ECU modification, the tuner increased power to around 170 bhp and torque to 345 newton meters. When we analyze the dyno graph after the tune, we can clearly see that between 2 and 3000 rpm, the torque is pretty flat. That clearly indicates that the transmission is limiting the ECU torque, which we increased during the modification. That is why I always recommend to verify torque limiters set in TCU before you even start the ECU modification. Let's jump to Stage X, where on the example of the DQ250 gearbox, I will show you how to check and adjust these limiters. Now, I am opening maps detected for our file, searching for the torque limiters directory, and looking through the available maps. It is worth to check all of them to be sure what the level of torque is allowed by the TCU. We can observe that there is a lot of single value maps and one general limiter, dependent on the oil temperature. Let's open it. It shows that up to 138 degrees, limiter is set at 350 newton meters. In the next map, we can see that limiter is set at 500 newton meters, so we can assume that it is not limiting us. But inside the next map, again we can find 350 newton meters, which is limiting our power gains. Okay, now we know what maps are available and what we can find inside them. I will start with changing the limitations dependent of oil temperature. Let's click on the value we want to change, click change absolute and insert 500 newton meters. That will be our new limit for the ECU tuning. Next we need to repeat the same for all similar values in other maps. As we can see, all limits are raised and we will not be restricted by the TCU limiters anymore. We are ready to save our file and continue our work with the ECU tune. But before we end this lesson, I want to show you the alternative method which is applicable when you face a situation where your gearbox is not supported by any writing or editing tool. In that case, there is the other way to change the torque limiter. You can lower the normalization torque value in the engine control unit that changes the torque values indicated by the ECU for the gearbox and result that it does not reaching the TCU limits. But remember to be careful with this method. Such changes may lead to the decalibration of the torque structure and result in incorrect shift points or inappropriate gearbox's behavior. Let me show you how to do the alternative method on the example of Bosch MED 17.5, which has a normalization value named MD norm and is available for all Bosch's control units supported by Stage X. So, after we upload the ECU file, we need to go to the Engine Torque Limiters folder and search for the map called Maximum Indexed Engine Torque for Torque Normalization. In our case, that would be the first map. The value here is set at 400 newton meters. In general, the value will be a bit higher than all the normal torques generated or indicated by the engine because it is only a theoretical value used for normalization. To avoid hitting the TCU torque limit, this time we need to do it in the opposite way as we did previously. We will lower the value to do not reach the TCU limits. Let's use the change relative option and change the value by a few percent. In our case, I am adjusting by 7. And it's done! Such a change set the maximum normalization torque value at 370 newton meters. Now we are ready to save the file and export it to the control unit, achieving the desired effect in the car. Torque limiters won't be blocking our power gains anymore.
hope you guys find this lesson useful. Of course, should you have any questions or comments on the presented method, remember that you can always rely on our support under the comment section. See ya at our next episode of Stage X Academy.